Hold on. Alright, you're good. Hello everybody, this is Shy. And Ninetales. And this is a game of G-Man the Cosmic Destroyer. Versus Richard Pryor. Did also, you lose to him first round? Also known as Edgy. Oh uh, yeah. What happened? Uh, you beat him last week, didn't you? Uh, yeah, but Edgy's a really good player. And uh, he just got my number. So, um, going into this match, it's Giddy versus Dr. Mario, which we don't see a lot of Dr. Mario at all. Uh, yeah, he's it's one of Etchie's really good characters. Um, he's still searching for a main, so we'll see him pull out potentially other characters. But maybe he'll be Dr. Mario this whole set. He might go Ganon. Ooh, he was trying for the... One of the interesting things about uh, Dr. Mario's uh, fast pill is that it's actually a jab reset move. So he was trying to get uh, Diddy on, on the Miss Tech there with the jab reset. That would have been very interesting to see. Yep. But Diddy in the lead right now, it's not a very big lead, but it's a solid lead. At least uh, double the percent of Dr. Yeah, Mario right now. You have to kind of think Maybe of Dr. Mario as weirdly like a heavy character. Yeah. Um, he hits he hits really hard, so he doesn't oh, he doesn't tough. suffer that much from being behind. Oh my goodness! Like that, the reads, yeah, just right when you have right when you're vulnerable, and that's a move that you can get really really solid hits with out of the jab resets, and that's why those fast pulls are so dangerous. Yeah, but the thing is, also Jimmy Man also oh, has yeah. that. Powerful upbeat. Yep. <laughs> I was about to say it, and then it happened. So, very good example. We might see every KO uh, be an set upbeat. being an upbeat. Potentially. Dr. Mario's got a lot of Very good left. strength, though, by uh, G Man right here. Gets good down throw to back air. He has a custom down B that has more range because of his to make up for the whole up B being very slow but very powerful. Yep. I find it very interesting. Uh, well, it helps Dr. Mario's recovery out a ton. It does, because Dr. Mario's recovery is not that great as it is. Oh, Dr. Mario's non custom recovery is. kind of poor. Maybe one of the worst out of the little max, even. That's on par with Ganondorf. Yeah, another Ganondorf. reason you have to almost think of Dr. Mario as a heavy character in a lot of ways. Customs really do help out this. No, this what? Game. I won. And. Oh. Richard Pryor taking this to that game. Wait, you won? You won? Yeah, two, uh, two, one, uh, nice. Alright, Richard Pryor taking that first game. Good, good for him. So, the loser of this match would be basically Summer Heat. Oh, yes, that's true. So, and the winner of this match is going to be in Winner's Finals. Yeah. Um, between the two characters that are on screen right now, G Man, uh, Diddy, and Edgy's Dr. Mario, who do you think? Or, Richard Pryor is Dr. Mario. Who do you think is going to win? Well, I mean, I I honestly say it's a toss up at this point. Because did he SD that last Yeah, that's toss. true. That's true. Uh, he went for the flip kick. I still flip. think it's his toss up. Yeah, monkey flip and then he did the B by accident, yeah. making it the kick come out. Yeah. But she's showing, making a really strong showing today. Yeah. Ooh, very good Nair. He's in the best position up on those platforms. He needs to get down to the ground where he can find solid footing and not have to deal with all those Diddy aerials. Yeah. Something you don't see Diddy that often do that G-Man just did there is Nair. Diddy. Because Diddy's Nair is not that great, but it can lead into an up air. Yep. Getting that down throw. Ooh! Oh, keeping him on the platforms, that was almost really good and still might be. Ooh, wow. Got hit him with the up B and then the ledge cancel for the rest of the animation. Yeah, that Ending was really the lag solid. on it. Yeah, that's so cool. Really good tech there. Very good back air. The thing is, though, if G-Man hits one up B again, like he did last game, that stock right now at this percent. Yep. That move is very strong. Yep. Yeah, um, right now, Dr. Mario's not in kill range aside from some sort of strange, like, over-the-top edge guard. Meanwhile, Diddy's at a point where he can die from a lot of Dr. Mario's smashes, that up B that we saw. So, did he that 49%? Oh, I lied. I, I got the move. You got the mixed up, up, yeah. I did. I'm, I'm really sorry about that. If, if Diddy was there when that guy, when Dr. Mario got up, I think that would have been stopped because that would have been a forward smash right there. Yep. 
but looks like that's not even with the uh, better up down B. That's not gonna be enough to get Dr. Mario back from hell that far out. You gotta have you gotta be one of those really high recovery characters to make it back from a spot like that. Yeah. Like Rose and Lena, no more. Yeah, or Villager. Yeah, or Villager. Rob, someone like that. Yeah. There is problem issue, always issues with their recovery, but that would definitely have the best of the game. Ooh, going for the forward air, trying to wall him out. Yeah. Yep. Gets but, and she made it back by getting going low. Yeah. Gets the grab to back though. That's definitely not going to kill though, that's early. Yeah, needs to get a little more percent. Looks like Jimin's uh, got really good control on this game, game so far. Very commanding lead though. Yep. Anyway. Oh wow! Good down smash punish, but yeah, get some of these forward tilt in the wrong way. Ooh, went for the up. Ooh, but the ledge canceled the uh, lag on it again. Yeah, using the ledge to cancel ledge. things. Down here does finish it off. But very good back throw. Or, or yeah, I, I can see Edge still bringing him back. Said, but the back throw did finish him off, and he uh, he's got a lot of work to, to do it though. But Edge, as we saw last game, he can bring it back as long as he gets that trade. That's I think the the, get, the gap this time's a little bigger than it was last game. A lot bigger, I feel, but I feel like if Echi plays this right, he would be ready to take it back. But he is up a game, so he still has that advantage, you know, and even if I lose this, I can still win the next game and win. Right, and he has a uh, counter pick advantage. Yes. I'm just waiting to see the very good up air is trying to keep Dr. Mario in the air right yeah, now. Yeah, Nechu's having trouble just getting on his He's feet trading on the too much, and trading right now at this percent is not going to be good for Dr. No, Mario. you don't want to trade anyone. Anyone at 152% shouldn't be trading. That backer, again, didn't kill, but I think any Diddy throw at the edge right now can kill. That or the up air. Edge's DI is really good. Edge has a huge amount of range, though. Ooh, yeah, this is very close, and the rage might become uh, a factor. Yeah, this is yeah, this the point three, where either character can win. Oh, up tilt for this game. Air dodges right to the whole fair, and that cost him his stock. Because he got up tilt to his stock. Yep. Diddy's up tilt can't kill, but it kills at very, very high percents. I mean, almost every move can kill at really, really high percents. Yeah. All right. So, what do you think they're gonna go for the last game? I don't know, it's Echi's pick. Um, Echi's actually not a big fan of Smashville, I think, so we're probably not going to see a village, of course. I could see Echi in Battlefield and things like that. Yeah. You can also see Final Death being like that. Yeah, fast pills. Yeah, Final Destination is uh, pretty good. Okay. I think we're going to be on commentary the whole time now. I don't know, I don't think so. No. Alright, so. Just waiting right now to Oh, looks like a character switch from Echi here. Interesting. Let's see what he does. G Man's locked into Diddy Kong at this point. They probably already decided on stage. I just heard over her and they haven't decided on stage yet. Well, we'll see what happens. I'm going to see if G Man might switch or is G Man going to stay Diddy? What do you think? I think G Man will stay Diddy. Did he been working for him so far? Yeah. Well, mostly. Yeah. It is 1-1. One, one. But, um, the city's looking stronger than it was during the Swiss rounds, I feel like. Definitely. Nice. Alf is going. Alf. Alf is actually what's one of his custom? other characters. Edgy, what's the custom? What does it do? So he has the he has the Pikmin tackle whistle. What happens in this uh, with this particular custom is um, Pikmin return to Alf whenever he whistles, but they actually have active hitboxes during their entire return animation. That's actually awesome. very good. Yeah, it is a very nice custom. It was actually the one that was broken before the patch. It was the one that um, worked with reflectors to create uh, the Super Pikmin. That's right. I remember hearing about. Wait, did they fix that in the patch? Yeah, that's been fixed. That was patched out with Diddy Kong. Ah, oh, interesting. Uh, wouldn't matter in this particular matchup anyway, since Diddy Kong has no reflecting moves. But, uh, it's nice to know that that has been fixed. As cool as it was, uh, me being a, a semi-old Mermaid, used to be an old Mermaid back in the day. I think <laughs> G-Man doesn't custom. know this matchup, he's taking hefty amounts of damage right now. Uh, yeah, he's, um, I Whoa! Both Skyloft. characters getting owned by Skyloft. Skyloft just said no to both of them on their... That was like Link's board. dormitory. It's just like smacking them. Again, another reason I don't know why the stage is legal sometimes. Oh, uh, I think the stage is hilarious. I do too, but... <laughs> Very wow. good! Destroying the Alf right there. So before Skyloft... 
took our breath away there. I want to. Uh, I was saying that uh, G Man does have a little bit of experience fighting Omar because I I used to play Omar against him. So. That is true, but I don't know. I don't know. That's a player back in Brawl and Brad. Yeah, Jimmy has Jimmy has considerable knowledge of Olmar. I think he knows that um, Olmar is a very grounded character. Yes, he doesn't do a lot of aerials. I feel like so he's um, it's good to try to get your short hops very, very precise to match. get approaches on Olmar. And yeah, Alpha did a really nice forward smash, punishing the fair there. Fair is a good move at the same time though. It's so punishable with it. Oh, uh, I I thought it fair auto cancels. Fair is a. Um, I think it does auto cancel, but I think there's times in it if you like went it too far away, you're gonna get hit. Yeah, yeah. Especially against a character like Olmar. Yeah, who has crazy range. Out. This is not Olmar. This is out. Same thing. No, there's a huge difference. No difference. There is a huge difference. They're the same character. The only good, the only redeeming quality of Alpha is that he's an engineer. That's like the only thing. Olmar's better in every that other way. That white Pikmin dealing lots and lots of yeah, damage. Yeah, that's the that's the trait of white Pikmin. You want to use them to latch onto the enemy because they do the most damage. Goes for the upbeat, but fails. The kills. poisonous Pikmin they are. Yeah, it deals so much damage. Mm -hmm. All right, and we're looking at a really even game. With both players at ninety percent last stock. Oh, the banana! Oh, that could have been an upbeat right there. Yeah, he, he had the he had the air dodge, so one one better read could have could have finished him off. Goes. Okay, that was too far away to do anything. I was just struggling to get his full picking squad back right now. Did he's chasing there? There's the up there for the game. Yep. G-Man takes it in a very close to one. Yeah, very close to one. Considering that was the deciding hit, basically. If Alpha just had a less picking with him. Uh, the good game to both players, and uh, they're both still in it. This is the winner's bracket, so yeah, uh, we might see actually coming back to losers potentially. Uh